Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our BMW 5 Series. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3 litre 535D luxury. It's a four door saloon, 2015 on a 15 plate. Has done 66,469 miles. Fuel economy, urban 43.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban 57.6 miles per gallon and combined is 52.3 miles per gallon. It's a 0 to 60 time in a, a blistering 5.3 seconds. Top speed of 155 miles per hour out of a 313 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Road tax, six months is 90 pounds 75 and 12 months is 165 pounds. Okay, well, uh, this is the new place where I video the vehicles. And I seem to have uh, chosen a road which I share with numerous driving instructors. And they, they seem to think it's funny to get the, the, the pupils to practice the emergency stops basically right next to the car. Road's about a quarter of a mile long. There's only me parked here. And uh, there you go. So if you hear the screech of brakes and me dive out of the way, you'll know what it's all about. Right, I'm going on holiday um, in two days time and I'm trying to get all the, the cars videoed and John has done his best to uh, deter me from videoing this. Now that usually means that he wants to use it and he doesn't want to sell it. So while I'm away, good luck buying this car. But it's beautiful. It's mint inside and out. It's, uh, he's, he's made me put mats in it before I come out and it's finished in dark blue metallic and it's got uh, cream leather uh, i think it's oyster leather it's called lovely lovely car it's it's an absolute weapon just driving it here um <laughs> i i don't think i've really gone above tick over so it's a, a fantastic engine anyway i'll show you around it so it's got the bmw xenon headlamps and the just in case you forget, it's got BMW in the corner there. The kidney-shaped grille, the chrome trims around the front fog lamps, front parking sensors, high-pressure headlamp wash, the multi-spoke alloy wheels, um, little chrome plastic bit in the wing there. I'm assuming that's to try and make it look like the old-style cars that you had to pull a lever out here in order to flip the bonnet up. I, there's no other purpose. Chrome trims around the windows and also on the door handles. Got the shark fin roof aerial, remote boot release, plenty of room in there. And we've also got this detachable tow bar there with a key. So uh, makes the, the back end of your car look nice instead of having a, a horrible tow bar on there. Reversing sensors in the rear, the chrome trims again uh, around the reflectors at the bottom and the uh, twin chrome exhaust tips. Being very careful to keep my feet on the mats. It's got beautiful oyster carpet and it's it's unmarked it's a real credit to the previous owner it's it's just absolutely beautiful back seats are absolutely mint no scuffs so doubtful there's been any kids in the back there kicking the back of the the dad while they're driving or the mum while she's driving it's it's just lovely got this lovely kind of very very dark wood with the aluminium strip along the bottom aluminium door handles here Rear centre armrest, got a little oddments box there, and also cup holders. Power socket in the uh, back of the centre console there. It's just lovely. We, we have got the mats for it in the boot. It's uh, It's got kind of, it's just broken up by this little contrast stitching uh, pattern. It's it's so nice this car it looks fantastic drives fantastic and, and it's mint too 
uh, got a great service history which I'll try and remember to show you on the digital display. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. We have the two BMW keys here. It's keyless go, so just need to find somewhere to put them where they won't rattle. Start button here, start foot on the brake, and uh, I like to knock the stop start off straight away. Let's just turn that down just in case it blasts on, and uh, away we go. Oh, actually, sorry, one thing I must do before we go the service history on a, a BMW. So if we go to menu there wind down to vehicle information and then it's already on vehicle status there but click vehicle status and tire pressure monitor perform reset engine oil level service requirements onto service requirements and then it's got everything there engine oil vehicle check brake fluid all okay but if you just knock it back up to service history and click on there wind down to the bottom here in the date 14th of 7 2016 service at BMW dealer 08393 that's uh, 22,074 miles then the next one 10th of the 8th 2017 at 40,553 miles that's serviced at BMW dealer 08393 30th of 4th 2018 at 44,956 miles serviced at BMW dealer 05334 10th of 9th 2019 at 57,755 serviced at BMW dealer 05334 so proper BMW service history um, just exactly which dealer that is I'm not sure we've also got if we go back here I'll just put nav on and we'll, we'll set up and uh, tell you a couple of things while we're going so we've got electric seat adjustment the seat squab and the seat back is electrically adjustable to move backwards and forwards it's the the lever at the bottom under the seat there's nothing behind me so uh, I'll just show you the height and reach adjustable steering wheel as well so here we go little lever at the side uh, reach and height adjustable oh, just get that down there Go. Uh, this car goes like the wind really it's it's effortless you just touch the accelerator and you you're away it's uh, it's really really nice and I've got to say the suspension I BMWs aren't my favourite car. Um, I I don't know. It's, it's, the M Sports are the most popular. Those are the ones we sell all the time, and, and those in particular are the ones I, I don't particularly like. I think the, the ride's too harsh in them. But this is uh, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I'm just going to gun it when we get on the dual carriageway if it's clear. It was 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going to get the wheel straight and then. I mean, that... <laughs> that's just. Uh... When it when I set off there, I, I think the uh, the traction had a, a little bit of a go because it was going to light the back wheels up. But uh, it's it soon gripped and got going. It's uh, it's it's really lovely. You've got the professional sat nav there. If you just click over there, click sideways, you can knock it onto split screen and uh, have the the sat nav in the left hand side. And then anything you want, you, you can you can have two sat navs if you want in in this side. Uh, the split screen content 
click on that you can uh, you can choose what you want I'd rather have the full screen to be honest The, uh, the mid-range power when you're doing 30 and 40 miles an hour and you put your foot down it just again it's just it's just effortless so we've got climate control here um, I must remember to tell you about cars like this I always forget to talk uh, they can't can't shut that down so stick those there that's the cup holders you've also got the uh, the setup here the setup button Sport, there we go. Sport, Comfort, Eco Pro, and Eco Pro. This tells you on the dash here in in blue. You've got a little power thing. It it, it puts power back into the battery and then uses it when you when you need it. Um, and it also tells you how much fuel you you have, you've saved or. Or how much fuel you've got that you're not really entitled to if you hadn't been driving uh, to a good standard it, it, it does focus your mind on the way you're driving to be fair if you bother to look at the, at the speedo or anything which I, I don't think a lot of BMW drivers do or indicate I, that, that could be it because obviously indicating uses electricity and uh, th that means it uses you know does fewer miles to the gallon so therefore they don't indicate just a theory mind so say absolutely lovely John didn't want me to photograph it because he thought I'd mess it up um, which is a sure sign he didn't want to sell it and he wants to use it Seventy miles an hour. It's just took into the inside lane. So seventy miles an hour in top there. Just over fifteen hundred revs. It's barely ticking over. I'll just uh, let's see cruise control. So that's cruise control ready. The gladiator's ready. And then set, just knock that up. Oh, it's set at 65, 66, 70. So 70 miles an hour there, 1500 revs. Which uh, very, very quiet lovely dashboard this this dark polished wood that actually looks like wood um, and, and kind of the, the the trim which is recessed into the wood the aluminium trim seats are really comfortable big front center armrest here You've got your eye control so you can just change everything from there it's got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, let's just go to media if I can. So that's media. Hey Siri, play music. The sound system in it is uh, is awesome, and it's obviously it makes it even better with it being quiet in the car. Old Vito van driving about two yards from my boot here. I don't know where he thinks I'm going to go. But we'll let him go by. This is getting on my nerves. So high pressure headlamp wash, 
which I forgot to video. Um, to say it's got the detachable tow bar. I'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to uh, pair a mobile, how to delete a mobile, and how to stream audio. Your heated seats are just there. And they are uh, toasty. The aircon climate control is uh, icy cold. showing now we've uh, managed to gain let's just check I think 0.9 miles on fuel the, the gearbox is absolutely seamless um, you can only really tell there's a, there's a slight engine note change but um, you can't really feel anything. Got uh, hill hold here, or uh, auto hold, electronic handbrake, which I'm not too keen on. Not just in the BMW, in any car. You can't beat when you're on a hill yanking the handbrake on and then just pulling a bit more until the handbrake cable snaps. <laughs> Make sure your car's not going to go anywhere. great on fuel and uh, the road tax isn't too bad either. It's just uh, It's just a car that you could just jump in and drive all day. Let's see what else we've got. Yeah, wipers are good. That's changing the display there, showing you how many miles you've got till you need to fill up. Uh, it's showing an average of 34 miles per gallon, which is that's pretty good, uh, bearing in mind that it's probably just been ticking over for the last three quarters of an hour while I videoed it as well, so that will have brought that down. Instantaneous miles per gallon, average miles per hour, and the date, and then uh, nothing, then we're, we're back to the blue display of how many miles per gallon you've stolen. the charging gauge there as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator it swings over to charges on the left and power is on the right so make sure we're uh, at the speed limit So easy to uh, run away with you. Actually, you can also change the limit there. So there you go. I've set the limit to 40 miles per hour, and mind you, I've, I've overridden it there because I put my foot down. 
but um, we'll just do that again and obviously if limit limit 34 take it to 40 so I'll accelerate and then I've got to 40 and nothing won't allow you to go over there your accelerator goes down but the speed doesn't increase cruise cruise control ready 41 knock it to 40 I'm coming into a 30 mile an hour limit there so we'll just knock off and we're up to 1.1 miles that we've uh, salvaged instrument display nice and clear nice thick steering wheel very tactile the instrument console there on the left is your fuel gauge then your speedo in your speedo there is your information display your little information display which you can change from the end here on the right hand side you've got your rev counter in the bottom your power display what power you're using and what power you're saving and you can by just playing with the throttle you can uh, get closer to charging as soon as you let your foot off the, the accelerator it's uh, back into neutral stroke charging position and when, when you're in a car every day and, and you get to know how it drives and get the best out of it the best economy don't like where this little girl's riding I think her mum should be uh, covering her a little bit further outside. To be fair, I'm not sure if they were my kids, I'd have them on the road. But at least they're getting exercise. Turn the radio up, let's see. Uh, it's a great system. Well, I go on holiday on Monday. We've got a Mercedes in and a Mazda CX-5 that uh, I'm not gonna be able to do both of them, I don't think. And I've still got all my packing to do. And just about everything else that you need to do before you go on holiday, so. Tomorrow is going to be a rush, but um, I shall post a few photographs of Sorrento if I, I do manage to get there. Got an email off Tui today to say that uh, at the moment it's all like uh, green light. We're on countdown. Just uh, just along here, I've got the fan on. the The cameras and my audio equipment do pick up the, the noise of the fan, but I just uh, I've gone onto the rough road now. <laughs> it's very very quiet. It's a lovely car. I'd be very, very surprised if somebody doesn't manage to wrestle the keys off John before I get back. Blimey. 
they need to uh, get the cat's claws trimmed. Are you going across, lady? Just watch out for that car there. Here we are, back at the garage. Absolutely beautiful car. Actually, I think that's our car. I think that's a customer out for a drive in it. <laughs> 